everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be drawing torture from Roblox Piggy. Except this is going to be a teensy bit different than usual. Um, so we're not going to be drawing exactly how it looks on the picture that I put here. I'm going to put like the, the flamethrower like not a, in front of his body because... I can't do that yet, so, yeah, and drawing, like, his elephant trunk thing might, might be a little challenging, too, but I'll try that, so, yeah, let's get started, so, first things first, we need to just draw a regular plain old circle, like this, okay, yeah, there's a small weird thing with that. There we go, that looks a little bit better, so. So yeah, now we do, right. So yeah, now we do that. We should make like the background orange, so it's like fire and stuff. So yeah, now we just need um, a lighter shade of black like this. It's seeable in here. There we go. And now let's see. So yeah, now, now real quick I have to Just to make that look even. There we go. And it's like on the same line. This is like probably like the most even eyes I've ever done. And he has like this light shady red look on his eyes. I'm going to make that. So yeah, I can kind of tell this is torture already. Um. So here's actually the thing. So we're going. I'm gonna draw his elephant trunk going down here. At least everyone thinks he's an elephant. Something like that. I don't know if like that theory was like people stop thinking it or anything. Wait a second. So if I do it like that, oh, nope. We don't want to do that. But no one can tell that. So let's just look at our reference. So the reference looks like that. Um, is it possible I could just sum in a circle and it would look different if I collide it with this? No, it's the same shade, so I can't do that. Oh, wait, what? Why don't we just make the trunk a lighter shade of black like this? Like, it may not... Oh my gosh, what the heck am I doing? So, yeah, there we go. So now... Oh. So now, like that, and then just this shade of gray, let's put that over here. Let me know if you guys are enjoying my these types of videos. So then I'll know if I should make more or less of them. So let's just make it like that. Now let's.
it's fillet. Oh gosh. What am I doing? Okay, there's a small problem though. There we go. That that fixed it mostly. So yeah, that's a pretty good torture head. That's actually the fastest head of drawn. Torture's head is pretty basic. Doesn't like have a nose. I mean, he has infected eyes underneath the mask, but we can't really see that. So, you know, we don't have to draw the infected eyes. The eyes are the exact same. So, yeah, this is actually looking pretty good so far. So, yeah, so now let's just... Oh, wait, no, no, we have to do this. Otherwise, it would just fill out this, like, it would change the whole entire background to yellow. Like this. And that just erases everything else. But it is pretty cool, though, to just see that happen. Wait, if I change it to black, what will, what will happen? It's like, it doesn't look like, it looks like his head is connected to the whole entire background. Which is not what we want to do. So he has, he has like that belt thing that we drew from, for Coley. And yeah, this is actually our first book one character. If you guys don't know, I personally like book one more than book two. It's just simpler and less hard to beat all of it. Book two is like a hardcore piggy mode. I'm still excited for all book two's updates, but book two is like hard really hard and I'm just going to do the exact same thing that we did for Coley's belt I'm just assuming that it looks like that I mean if you jump as the torture skin then you'll find out but I'm just gonna draw it like that for now so it's looking pretty good Um, $500 Starbucks giveaway, what the heck? So, now we just do that. And then we do that. I think that's what that looks like. And then, so wait, what the? So yeah, he has like, he has like, um, shorts, yellow, like he has like, shorts on with like yellow shorts and like another layer gray so let's just draw that i think i have i ever done the legs before the arms i don't think so you know this is a very different video and i actually have an idea to like make fire actually come out of his flamethrower if I could, like, draw 3D, i totally make the flamethrower be looking, like, directly at you guys. Because that'd look really cool. Spoiler alert. Don't get freaked out if I ever do that. It's, it's not real. It's not real. Hmm. Okay, Alright, there we go. Let's just make that look like that. No! I'm just gonna use the line tool. I can't. Alright, so now we can fill that. Um, 
I'm just going to fill that. You know what? No. Yeah, I felt like there was something wrong with the legs. Nope, that's like too big. It's too small that I can just extend it. Just like that. There we go. Hmm, so now let's draw like his gray stuff on his pants. Why? Why? Oh. Why does this happen? Yeah, this section. That is unwelcomed. And now let's just it this whole entire thing and poof it's invisible now it's a cool little trick so yeah now we have that now we just have to draw like his black shoes these these shouldn't be too hard i'm gonna use the line tool this time this one's going to be like the shortest There we go. Alright, so there we go. We have finished that. So now let's check on his arms. So, you know, yellow makes sense. You know what? No, no, that just looks weird. There we go. That looks better. You know what? Let's just actually give this hand the flamethrower. It's usually the other hand. Let's just give it this shade. The yellow, I mean, I like the other one more. Or I could just still find the other one. Yeah, oh no, I think this is the other one, actually. Yeah, this is definitely the other one. Oh my gosh. Perfecto. There we go. So, wait a second. Oh, wait, he has black gloves. I completely forgot. Well, I know how to fix that without having to erase anything. There we go. That should fix that. There we go. So you guys might be like, Wow, how does that fix that? Use the fill tool here. Boom. Boom. Now it's fixed. His arms look a little floppy, but that's fine. So now we just need to draw his flamethrower, which might be like the hardest part. So 
Like everything else was not that hard. Just that the lines were a little tricky. But that's all. Like the lines on his pants. It's going to, you know, this isn't actually as hard as I thought. So now we can just do this. Little wire thing or whatever. So, So now let's just add the flames. Like that. And like that. And there's some yellow in some flames, so I'm just gonna add some of that. So yeah, so now we need to get that shade of orange, do that. So yeah, now time for the shade of red. Now let's just make it look like that. And that's going to wrap it up, everybody. Um, that's torture from Roblox Baby. And um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.